Hey folks, this is an iPod Classic 30 gig right there. You can see the serial number 2007. It's now going on what 13 year vintage. Anyway, I've had a go at this already. Um, so just in case you're wondering, I turn it on and I've tried to change the battery already. It was doing the click of death on the hard drive. There's like a little tiny hard drive and you can see it says bad Apple. And so I'm having trouble, you know, getting this thing back together. Um, anyway, let me show you. I've already had a go at this repair, but this is time for recycling. So I, before I trash it, I wanted to show you what's inside of the classic. Here we go. Just open up the back here. Sorry, uh, it's been through a lot. Okay, there we go. So, anyway, let me just show this. Now, This I've already removed this cable. And, I mean, despite my efforts at putting it in, it didn't work. This is the replacement battery. You can see no matter what I do, it just doesn't want to come back to life. And it's basically dead as a doornail it'll cycle on and then do that one time i got it to go into some kind of configuration menu where i was able to actually get some extra options i'm not sure why i can't do that again i've tried but to no avail maybe it'll happen again while we do this video yeah there's a hard drive i ripped off the padding already but basically it's a toshiba little micro drive 30 gig apple branded i'm not sure uh if we can use this for anything actually it looks like it's quite proprietary um, format but anyway the uh there's the board if you want to have a look we have a broadcom chip now no doubt today if apple even made something like this they would probably just have all of these chips on one Apple branded chip. But back then, it looks like they outsourced a lot of it. That's Broadcom. This might be some memory, I'm not really sure. There are a few chips here. That's where the power goes, by the way. There's a chip here. There's some kind of a connector there, which, uh, was I using that before? I'm not sure. I was using this connector here. Anyway, let's try the battery again. Just plug it in here and see what happens. It's uh, this one here. This is the new battery. I ordered it online. It was very cheap, but unfortunately, still not enough to get this thing to come back to life. And as I mentioned, uh, the original owner uh, did let me know that the hard drive was having issues. So I'm not too surprised if that's the case. See, sick apple. There it is lit up. We'll try loading it up again. Um, now you can see this is... There's plastic here, so the other the board is loaded on the other side of this plastic. The only way to get it off is to remove those screws. Oh, something different here. It's now white. There's no message at all. Okay. So we'll try to get these guys out on the side if I have any luck. No, still the same message. Okay, is that coming off? Come on. I'm not sure if I'm getting them. Probably not. Yeah, that's the, the other part of the board here. Your click wheel, and then the side ones, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, battery's still in there. 
should be able to get this thing cycled on. Yeah, I see the Apple logo. Okay. That's the menu. And uh, it's the board is well fastened into this metal frame. And the screen is just popping in the breeze now. But it's on the other side of this thing. So uh, give me a minute, I'll try to remove this frame and see if I can reassemble it on the outside. All right, I managed to remove it from this uh, frame. Quite a solid aluminum or magnesium, I'm not even sure, some kind of alloy extremely hard and stiff. We're going to give it a try here. I'm going to start it up. You can see the Apple logo right there. It's loading up. There it is. The hard drive. It's now turned on. You can see it does not like things. There's the hard drive. The board connected to a couple of things. There's one part missing because that's a uh, that's this part here, the switch and the phono jack. This is the output and the switch. Okay, uh, that's missing and uh, not working. But there you have it. The iPod, classic in all its glory. Unfortunately, destined for the scrap heap nowadays. You can get MP3 players, you can put 64 gig memory cards in them, you can get lots of really cool portable music players, even the iPod Nano. Uh, sad, but unfortunately this is not working and it will have to go into the trash heap of history. If you had one of these things, Please let me know, leave it in your comments, how did you enjoy using it, and uh, how long did it last, did you ever end up, are you still using it, did you end up uh, trashing it, and for what reason. But there you have it, hope you enjoyed this look at the past, retro tech from Apple, and bye for now.